Hey, what's going on? It's Jay and Allison from Two Dudes Reviews, and uh, my wife just bought uh, some amazing bourbon in Texas, from what I understand, including the Weller, which, by the way, this is a 1.75 you paid. How much for the uh, Weller Special Select? $33. How much? $33. $33. Wow, okay. I'm going to put a picture in here. We've got a local liquor store here on the West Coast. Uh, Lee's Discount, uh, uh, Discount Nutrition. Lee's Di <laughs> Discount Liquor. <laughs> It's like total line of fitness, right? Uh, Lee's Discount Liquor has this bottle, the seven fifty for ninety nine dollars. That's highway robbery. I don't know why they have it so expensive, but back in Texas, you can find it all day long. This is a grip, one point seven five for thirty three bucks. Angels Envy, very very popular. Jim Beam just doing some awesome stuff and doing it on the cheap. This bottle was about twenty bucks over at Total Wine and Fitness. This is the Devil's Cut. It's our favorite of the line so far. And then this one right here, you have to tell me a little bit of the history on this, Allison, because you picked this up in Texas as well. It's called Nine Banded. It's from Austin, yeah? Yeah, I, I don't know a lot about it. So okay. um, the gentleman at the liquor store, Twin Liquors, okay. throw that out there, um, said that they had just done a tasting, and he said he found it remarkable, and I told him kind of what you liked. Yeah. And he said, ah. What was so, the name of the liquor store? Maybe we can tag it in here. Twin Liquor. Twin Liquor. Okay, got it. That. Twin Liquor. Sorry, I missed that. <laughs> Anyways, he, um, I told him how. Yeah, usually he was like, "You drink this stuff," and I was like, "Oh my god, I love of course." It. Yeah. Well, do you think that uh, bourbon is a uh, is has a sexual preference? No, no, no. come on, everybody. <laughs> no, but loves I told bourbon. him usually like put a rock in it and yeah. we're good. Discriminating taste. We're gonna do this uh, real quick once through without any water, and then I've got a little bit of water here. We'll see how they open up because I have noticed that stuff like Woodford Reserve. Uh, with a little bit of water, man, just turns into a wonderful, amazing uh, bourbon. So, you know what? Let's start with the Austin with the Nine Banded here. It's a nod to the uh, to the Nine Banded Armadillo, which we got all over. They call those Texas speed bumps for my friends down in San Antonio, Texas, where uh, I was raised. <clears throat> and my sniffer's a little bit off. You might be able to tell. I'm slightly hoarse. Oh, uh, we both have been fighting the... Yeah, a little under the weather. Everyone's been getting sick here this winter. I get winter. a little cinnamon. A little cinnamon mm -hmm. in that. Okay. Why don't you taste it? Of course. We do yeah, of course. Ladies first, as my dad would say, even through the windshield. Ow. Don't drink all of it. You need some for me. Mm -hmm. Nice lipstick marks. Mm -hmm. You know, all that uh, suggestive uh, commentary makes me think cinnamon now. Mm. 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 Yeah. That's very nice. Wow. It's got some sweetness. It's 90 proof. It's got sweetness, but it's got a nice burn. Yeah. Mm. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I got a little caramel right at the end. Yeah, it's got sweetness. I'm not picking up a ton of oak in that one. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty clean as far as bourbons are concerned, or as far as whiskeys are concerned. Technically, I guess this is not a bourbon. Um, I don't know technically what it would be called aside from just whiskey. It's whiskey. Uh, and it does say blended, and it, it says distilled in Kentucky, all right? It's bottled by Austin Whiskey Company. Um, Three-year-old spirits, carefully aged in charred American oak and blended with limestone filtered water from the Texas Hill Country. get a little bit of oak at the end. Yeah, I'm not getting much oak on that. Get a little <laughs> Let's move on to the Jim Bean, the uh, Devil's Cut. Tell us what you think about that one, Allison. Okay. I like Devil's Cut. Well, that's what I hear. <laughs> Are you getting any this, oak on the nose of that one? This burns my nose. Oh, hot. It is hot. This one clocks Ooh. in at 90% as well. 90 proof as well. 45%. 90 proof. Now, do they use French oak? <clears throat> what kind of oak? I, I believe that uh, for it to be um, for it to be a bourbon, it has to be American oak. Yeah, I believe I believe that's the case. Hmm. Uh, wow. yeah, we did recipe so, and then. Uh, 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 uh. When you do this? Yeah, good good question. It burns your tongue a little bit. Am I so sick? Obviously, we're not professionals here. <laughs> what do you think of the taste? I haven't tasted it. Well, gosh dang, hurry up! We ain't got all day here. Oh wow, oh, hot! It's very hot, huh? Mm -hmm. Hotter than the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just looking at it. Uh, uh, all this is is charred oak barrels. I should know this, but I'm a little off my game today. 
Oh yeah. What's up? That smells. <clears throat> well, it smells like Jim Beam. You know, it's kind of like it's not as pronounced as Jack Daniels, but Jim Beam over the line tends to have some similarities. Yeah, yeah. I get a lot of character out of that one. A lot more character out of this than I did with the Nine Band. The Nine Band was just smooth. Too. Super smooth. Oof. That's hot. This is hot. I do get uh, slight anise. That's a good. That's a good uh, descriptor of that. And and I do pick up some oak. Yeah. Let's move on to the angels. Ice ending. cube. I think that would be wonderful. Yeah. Well, we'll see how it uh, how it opens up. This one got ninety six points from a, wine enthusiasts. This one's gonna burn me. I know it will burn me. Now this is actually finished in port wine barrels, so you expect it to be a little bit on the sweeter side. This is only eighty six pr uh, proof. So give that one a whirl. See if you smell anything different. Okay. You might get a bit of the sweeter oak from the uh, from the port wine. I mean, I'm all stirring up my wine. <clears throat> you should. Open it up. Yeah. This isn't as hot on my nose as that was. That, that one burnt my nostrils. Okay. I can say color-wise, these are all very, very similar. The weather appears to be a little bit darker, mm -hmm. but it might just be a bigger pour. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely get more similarities to the Nine Bandit with the Angel's Envy, just as far as the sweetness on the nose. I don't get the same kind of, uh, almost a chemically uh, smell that I got from the Jim Beam there. I'm trying to figure out that herb. Much sweeter on the uh, oh, it's tip of the tongue. More caramely. But more it's caramely. Not really, it's not really caramely. It's like almost like brown sugar. Okay. Yeah, and I get a hint of just a, a hint of raisin, uh, probably again from the port, uh, from the port barrels that they finish it off in. Okay. Right. So I was going to say plums. Plums. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on to the Wellers. Tell me what you think about that. Uh -huh. This is in the dirt. While she's doing that, I'm just going to put a tad, not even a teaspoon, just a couple of drops if I can, into each one of these and see how they open up. Why does this smell so good? Does it smell good? Oh my god, I love it. Now, for those of you who don't know, Weller, this is pretty much the same bourbon you're going to get in Pappy Van Winkle. The only difference is Pappy's been aged for quite a bit longer. There might be a different... Um, mash uh, run on the on the pappy, but I don't think so. I believe it's the same kind of bourbon. Ooh, yummy. Yeah, that just has Sugary, an old, yummy. <clears throat> that, you can smell the oak coming off that weller right there. So it doesn't have the burn like I got from Devil's Cup. I get more of that brown sugar, caramel, sweetness, but God, yeah. the finish is so good. Nice, oak. mellow, oaky finish. And this is, again, a 90 proof on this, I believe. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So we're 90, 90, 90, and 86 for this year. So going back with just a, just a dab of water. I'm Start nice. back from the uh, nine banded. Go out ice later. Did you already put water in? I did. There's water did at all. Did you? I did. Okay. <clears throat> Tell me that brings out anything different. Mm -hmm. We are. I'll check out my thermometer. It's not registering anything. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Anything different? It's softer, even though I cough, but it's softer. I almost get a floral note off of that right now. Oh, good cough. Okay, so let's move on to the devil's cut now that it's had a chance to uh, get a little water in there and give that a shot. The way that changes it all. Because you said the Devil's Cut was the hottest of yeah, uh, the four of them last time. Burn my nose. And how does that open up? Ooh, it's so hot. It's so hot. It's softer. Softer at the beginning, but it's still hot when she starts swallowing. So, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I, I get the... Uh, you get more sugar, though? A bit of sugar, but I also get a bit of a pepper to it. When you talk about hot, I'm almost tasting a pepper right there at the, at the front sides of the tongue. What kind of pepper? <clears throat> well, I don't know. Black pepper. Black pepper? 
Uh, yeah, black pepper, not white pepper. No, white pepper's got a different flavor. It does. So let's move on to the Angel's Envy. That's gone. Yes. <laughs> We're drinking them. That's why it's gone. Thank God for pork tenderloin. Thank God for what? Pork tenderloin. Okay. Dinner soon. Ooh. Yeah? That's Angel's the Angel's Envy. Envy has always burnt the poop out of my nose. Okay. We'll and taste it's it. only what proof? It's 86 proof. Mm. They say 86.5. 86.5. Mmm. Mmm. Different now? Yeah. So now I get sour apple. Totally. Do you get that? Totally. I get uh, sour apple and I still get almost uh, almost a grape. It's, it's not going into the raisin plum. It's almost a newer crisper grapiness on that like with the green water. Grape? Like a green grape kind of, yeah. All right. And we already put some water in the weller, so let's see how that one is developed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't have any preconceived notions here. You know, obviously, we know we're a fan of the weller, but <clears throat> if you have $33 to spend, you're going to go out and buy one of these tomorrow. At this point, it, it'd still be the weller, huh? Although, I still... For 20 bucks. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Softer. Okay. Softer. Mm. Mm. Brown sugar got a little bit of cherry. Brown sugar and cherry, okay. Mm -hmm. Just a slight hint of it. I sip bourbon kind of like I sip wine. Swish it around, get it all over the gums. Um, hope it numbs them up a little bit. I don't know that I get the cherry. Mm, I got tart cherry. But again, my taster's a little off. Um, it, it is sweet and soft and oaky. Mm, it opens me. Yeah, I mean, for the dollar for dollar, for a relatively inexpensive bourbon, you know, Probably the Angel's Envy is the most expensive one out of all these, just if you look at the entire country and, and if you're going to go and, and buy it somewhere. It's um, a beautiful bottle. It's a gorgeous looking bottle. <laughs> you don't really buy it for the bottle, you buy it for what's inside. But uh, so, Do you remember the first time you gave me that? I remember the first time I had it at the gas lamp in Lubbock, Texas. In Lubbock. Yeah. And I never not. had Angel's Envy. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll try it. Yeah. It's very, very good bourbon. All these are fine bourbons. Again, this one probably has the least character, and that's the Nine Banded out of uh, Austin, Texas. It doesn't have the least character. It's, just, it's good. It's very, very soft. It'd probably be a good mix. You know, I don't know. For 90 proof, you know, some people like a hot whiskey. They want it to taste like 90 proof. That is proof. not hot. This is not hot. Uh, so if you want something that's nice and smooth but just doesn't have a whole hell of a lot of character, Nine Banded is the uh, totally the way to go. If you want something that's smooth, and also has that oakiness that a nice bourbon should, I would go for the Weller. They're all fine bourbons. Uh, best of luck on your travels, and uh, give these suckers a shot, especially if you can find the Wellers, grab it quick, because I hear there was a fire at the distillery and they're having a tough time cranking it out. There were only two of these big bottles when you went in to go and, to go and get it. Yeah. I'm Jay, she's Hot Chick Allison, we're two dudes reviews, or one dude and a chick review. <laughs>